the way that I see it is that we're starting to see things, in, and you know, I think there's a big theme across a, a number of different areas of the market, which is we're moving from the sort of creators of AI to the beneficiaries of AI. But the if anyone thinks AI is a bubble in terms of it, the actual underlying theme, uh, they need to do a little bit more reading. And I see that commodities move as really being kind of a confirmation of the reality that's out there, which is, hey, listen, we can, you know, we can create data till the cows come home. Uh, because it's bits and bytes and zeros and ones, and uh, but we cannot necessarily create more of the stuff that I can drop on my toe and it hurts, and that's things like copper, and that's <laughs> those are the things that we actually need to use uh, for this build out that's going to continue for the next decade. I mean, we are going to continue building data centers uh, as well as upgrading many areas of infrastructure, and that just takes real stuff. So I think that's a recognition. Uh, I think it's a positive in the sense that if you're if you're bullish AI, it's happening, and it also goes along with the theme of a, a real resurgence in the industrialization of the world theme, which I think is very much underway. Well, there's companies that are supplying power, they're supplying water, they're supplying cooling. But the actual like inputs to a lot of this infrastructure, I think, is the reason why some of this stuff is getting so much attention and focus. And I, I think it's quite reasonable, actually.